Hi. So I always wondered why do people do these like Facebook live in their car? And then I thought, oh, it's because they see people at house to house to house. So sometimes you just pull over into the parking lot at the coffee shop and you tell your viewers that you've got something cool to show them. Um, so I'm between appointments and I'm in my car and it's really cold here today. So I'm hoping my my little stand doesn't come unglued. So I got this amazing thing. It's called a Kindest Cup and I wanted to do an unboxing. Um, so I got my little like Air Canada mail sent to me. Um, so this is a milk collection device that is being made in Canada. Um, I got it from Oh, my thing is not going to stay on. I got it from a crowdfunding, um, hey Jessica, called I Fund Women. And I thought, yeah, of course I want to fund a woman business owner. So, oh, it's so exciting. So here's what it is. It is a cup that is for hand expression and feeding and it collects uh, drip milk. It collects milk. So it's kind of like um, a low-key breast pump that doesn't require any electricity. So, so far, the packaging is really simple. Um, I hope you can see this. So it shows the different uh, options that we have. So you can use it for hand expression, collecting drip milk, and cup feeding. So the reason why I ordered this, and I ordered it as like a promo, like before it was available to the public, is that I wanted to check it out. Um, but I have lots of families that use, ah, uh, glue, that use drip milk collection devices. And then some of them are really like long and narrow, kind of like the Haka. And you know, you sit it down and it, it's very tippy because it has that bell-shaped flange and then the milk comes down into the bottle. Um, and you know, I've had lots of families tell me like, oh gosh, and then I knocked it over at 3 a.m. And I thought, well, this design looks less tippy. Um, so I like that this is layers of packaging so that we can keep it nice and tidy. Ah. Maybe I should see, I knew this was gonna happen. I absolutely knew that was gonna happen. Let me fix my very patient, pe oh goodness, and it even turned on my emergency blinkers. This is the risk of live video, isn't it, people? Okay, so um, I got my little packing slip. So this is it. So it kind of looks a little bit like a shoe or a boat. And so this is the part that would attach at the breast and you just kind of give it a squeeze and stick it on. It's quite large. So I feel like this would fit just about, you know, anybody who feels like their breast is too ample for something like a haka. Um, I think my breast model is more like a C to D cup. And so we've got a pretty good fit here because this is fabric, it's not really going to uh, to stick on. Um, I need better technology set up per usual, right? So you would use it with the reservoir pointed to the bottom and then give it a little squeeze and it would suction onto the breast. And so then while you're nursing on the other side or maybe you're not nursing at all, maybe you just want to hold it there because this side is really leaky between feeds or before feeds um, to kind of collect some of that drip milk. And it's made out of silicone, so it's quite soft. Um, you can really fold it up. So you could really fit it like in your diaper bag um, or in your purse or throw it in with your electric pump bag pretty easily. Um, so I like that. Yeah, it kind of suctions on just like a haka would. Um, but where the haka is more of that like flange shape, this is really gonna pull more of the breast in, which I think is amazing, particularly if, um, I'm gonna move this over here, particularly if we're trying to get um, a little more uh, of that areola in and kind of reduce the, um, the amount of pressure on the nipple. So I'm going to put this here because we have completely damaged 
the this is the worst Facebook live video because now I only have one hand. So anyway, <laughs> um, so the other thing that you can do is you can feed the baby directly out of the cup. Where the haka is kind of challenging because we've got that full circle of a flange to deal with. So this you can kind of, let me get the light good because there's so much snow right now that it's hard to see. Um, we got a lot of brightness. So you can kind of do a little squeeze, but this um, tip here, you can just pour kind of directly into the baby's mouth for cup feeding. So you don't even have to swap it out or, you know, move the milk into a bottle or anything like that. You can feed directly from the cup, which I really like that feature. I think that we need to do a lot more to help families learn about cup feeding. Um, cup feeding is a lot easier than bottle feeding with very young babies. Um, because we don't have to worry about their suck and the mess that they make as much. Sometimes we see the very young babies doing this tongue thrust and really pushing out a bottle. And then parents get worried, oh, if we, you know, give the bottle, are we then going to have some, you know, nipple confusion, which I don't like that term, but that's what people say. Or, you know, is the baby going to refuse the breast? And so the World Health Organization actually recommends cup feeding for babies who will be going back to the breast. Um, so this is amazing as far as complying with the World Health Organization recommendations. I also like that if we're going to be storing the milk, we've got this nice spouted area so we can kind of pour into a container with some with less risk of loss. I know that risk of loss is huge for all of us, right? Because we've got this scarcity model that breast milk is not available in large quantities. Donate to milk banks. Um, so... I, I, I quite like this. Um, my understanding is that since it's food safe silicone, it's dishwasher safe. I do kind of worry because I use a lot of silicone like baking products um, for my own, you know, family, what we cook. And I do find that silicone can sometimes um, get build up from like the dishwasher, like the soap doesn't rinse away very well. So, you know, while I think this is probably totally fine to put in the dishwasher, I just don't think dishwashers are that good at cleaning things that we would be using for our babies. Um, but you know, mild soap and water, um, what I don't know is that if this can be run through an autoclave. So I'm going to reach out to Mel, the creator of Kindest Cup, and ask if this can go through an autoclave. Um, if it can, it could be used for multiple users because we would know that it was fully sterile. Um, if it cannot, it's really going to be a single user item. Um, so I've got a family in mind that I hope to see today that um, we might try this out. And maybe I can get an anonymous review um, of how it worked. Uh, but I definitely plan to get a few more of these once they start retailing. Because um, right now, this is the promo that she ran on the ifundwomen.com. Um, because I think there are so many of you who could really use something like this. It's so simple. And that's what I like about breastfeeding products, right? Anytime any of you have ever said, oh, what do I need to breastfeed? And I'm like, breasts in a baby, right? We really don't want to encourage tons and tons and tons of product use because it becomes frustrating. It's extra stuff to clean. It, it becomes expensive. And breastfeeding really, you know, we want to come down to the lowest common denominator of a parent and a child, right? We want to reduce all of the stuff. Do I know what it will retail for? So in the promo, I think I got this for $25. And then they had the option to get a two pack for like 35 or 40, which was such a good deal. And unfortunately, I snoozed and lost, and I, I was like, save this link, come back to it later. By morning, it was gone. They had sold out of the, of the dually pack. So um, I'm, I don't know if there are retailers yet um, in the US or if this is only going to be sold directly from Kindest Cup in Canada. Um, and I'm totally interested in becoming a retailer, which is like blowing my mind that I've ever decided that I might want to retail a product. Um, I just, I love the collect and feed all in one feature. And because that opening is wide, it's also really designed for hand expression. And 
all of you probably know that hand expression has been my big 2018 push, right? That every time somebody talks to me about pumping, I talk to them about hand expression. The science that we have we are following people now and we're, we're showing them hand expression and we're seeing their longer term outcomes. And it is just unbeatable. This massive technology that came with us that we were born with. This is how you get out the most milk unless you've got a baby getting out the most milk. Um, and so having this, you know, wide mouth cup to express into and then you can directly feed from. This is just phenomenal. Um, I'm sure some of you I've told that when I did my hand expression for my own babies, I used a saucepan because the, it was wide, um, it was deep, it could collect all of the spray, I could sit it in my lap, and this does have a nice flat bottom so that it can sit on the table um, while you hand express. But since it's squishy, you know, you can also sit it like between your knees um, and lean over. Like if you're pumping your milk in your car, because this is the reality, right? A lot of us are mobile in our jobs nowadays. Um, but I think that this is a great design. I think the ease of cleaning is phenomenal, right? You can like get down in all of these crevices, right? Where some of like the Hakka types, it's a little bit deep. So you may need a bottle brush, right? That's one more thing you have to buy. That's one more thing you have to sanitize. That's one more thing you have to remember to bring with you. Um, so I like that this is really simple to clean. It, it, like it's making me wish that I was still lactating so I could try it out myself. But oh well, I'll have to find a, a family that wants to try it out with me. So the package opening was not nearly as exciting as Pokemon cards with all of the little cutaways and things, but I feel like the, uh, the prize at the end is a little bit better. So I'm going to try this out today, hopefully, and I'll come back and do a review and, you know, share this. Let people know that we have amazing women entrepreneur innovators who are creating products that we can actually use that protect our breastfeeding relationship, that are about breast health and baby health, and that are compliant with the World Health Organization recommendations for infant feeding. We have so many products out there that are not designed to keep you breastfeeding. They're designed to collect milk and they're very milk as a product focused. Where I think this is really parenting, mothering, breastfeeding as the focus of this product. It's designed to help you maintain that breastfeeding relationship rather than help you just extract tons of milk and separate you from the work that you do of loving and nurturing your child. So, um, kindest cup. I'll drop a link to uh, the website in the comment section, but share, let me know and let your friends know. Have a fun Monday, everybody. And it's snowing like all over the United States this week. So stay warm. Bye. <laughs>